Hello everyone, I am Chen, and we meet again. In the current version, the game has updated a skill selection system. This new system is a very important update in my opinion, can greatly improve the combat effectiveness of the troops. In actual combat, how to have the best combination according to the position of the officer. In this video, I will share with you my experience in the skill selection system. The first unit to introduce to you is the main battle tank. In actual combat, I personally position it as a powerful guardian. I need it to have the following characteristics, 1, it has enough defense ability to take DMG, 2, it has sufficient HP to increase survivability, 3, it has the ability to recover HP to be in the long battle. According to these three requirements, I chose Thorn Counts as the troop leader. She can directly cast tactical skill after entering the battle, providing a shield to absorb damage for herself and providing firepower buff for the surrounding friendly troops. In the skill selection, the first skill I chose Sergeant Spanner's damage control, this skill can automatically recover HP after leaving the battle. The second skill I chose to a skill to increase DMG resist, Guardian of Truth's run will is a good choice. Steel Fighter as the aid, choose Death Adder's Tactical Master as the first skill, and Iron Bastion's Walking Fortress as the second skill. In this combination, the troops have sufficient HP to take DMG, which makes it a good choice. The idea of this combination is to make a choice of skills within my existing officers so as to reduce the waste of instructors as much as possible. The second combination is the rocket launcher unit, which is also a unit I am proud of. In this version, its use has become more extensive. Through my officer combination, it will become an absolute threat to the enemy base. As shown in the picture, I chose Arjun Flame as the troop leader, and I have Providence as the aide. First of all, let's see the introduction of the officer of I of Providence. When he is awakened, the artillery unit led by him can increase the officer's DMG to the base by 40%. And when Arjun Flame serves as the troop leader after awakening, the aide skill DMG can be increased by 25%. With this combination, when attacking the enemy base, I of Providence and Argent Flame can get a 65% skill DMG increased. The skill of I of Providence Know Thyself reduces skill prep time when in an artillery troop. If we upgrade it to the full level, the prep time reduction will reach 12.5%. I have tested this buff many times in actual combat, and the buff is valid for both officers in battle. Therefore, for the first skill selection of Argent Flame, I chose to learn Know Thyself, plus I of Providence serves as the aid, they can reach 25% prep time reduction. With this combination, I of Providence can't learn skills, but believe me, it is very worthwhile. As for the second skill of Argent Flame, I chose Professor Payne's Adrenaline. The buff of this skill is to increase officer's skill DMG. If upgraded to the full level, there will be a 30% buff and the buff is valid for both officers in battle. When we use this combination, we can experience very powerful DPS. The effect of attacking the base is unparalleled destruction effect, and the higher the level of the rocket launcher, the higher the DMG level. I chose the 9.2 stars rocket launcher. Its modification is LVL100 and its parts are gold++. plus plus. The blueprint modification should choose to increase the firepower as much as possible. Of course, players don't only train this unit. What is the other combination when there are multiple artillery units? The second combination for the artillery unit, I recommend Antonina Shevchenko with Saber of the Nation. Before learning extra skills, Saber of the Nation had a chance of refreshing tactical skill, but lacked basic attribute buffs, so that his DPS was not so perfect. In order to make up for this lack, I chose Winter Huntsman's Rugged Survival as the first skill, and Berserker Bear's Unyielding as the second skill. This skill has an additional 5% firepower buff when leading rocket launcher troops. With the addition of these two skills, Saber of the Nation has a minimum of 45% and a maximum of 50% HP buff, ensuring his average DPS. Antonina Shevchenko as the troop leader, the first skill is Eruptor's Ballistic Cover which provides a 30% firepower buff. The second skill is Lady Justice's Deadeye, which of landing a critical strike deals 150% DMG. In this way, a team composed of one main battle tank and two artillery units has been formed. 
Here I will show you my operation in actual combat. Some people may wonder why I put the main battle tank in this position. This is to prevent the enemy's garrison troop has Argent Flame. After awakening, Argent Flame will have a tactical skill AoE DMG. If you put the artillery units and the main battle tank together, they are very easy to be attacked by AoE and lose unit, which is very detrimental to my DPS and continuous combat. I call this tactic the assassin style, cutting into the enemy's hinterland, attacking the enemy's base, and causing a devastating blow. It is a combination of super high DPS in a short time, and even has the ability to turn the tide of the battle. The above is what I want to share with you this time, thank you for watching.